Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. The lighting today is a little bit different just because I'm actually filming this quite late at night and we had a really busy day today and we missed the sunlight a little bit, but I want to get this up for you before the holidays come around in case you want to do some shopping for yourself or a special someone in your life. Um, but as you guys know, I am pregnant and I've been spending a lot of time over the last couple of weeks just because baby's gonna be coming soon. Kind of like spending a lot more time on myself with some like rest and relaxation. Cause you know, as everybody says, once the baby's here, you don't get a lot of time to yourself. And you know what? This is gonna be the last couple of weeks where I can really spa myself. So I've been updating my nighttime skincare routine quite a little bit and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Cause we have some amazing goodies here that are just, oh, it's like a treat. It's like a luxury treat for your skin. And I am working with skinstore.com to share with you some of their amazing products that they have on their site. You guys know that I've mentioned them before. I previously shared that I use their eye cream from Natura Bise. This is a Diamond Extreme Eye. This is such a luxurious treat for your eyes. Love it. I tried a couple of other things as well and I want to share with you some of my favorites and an amazing gift set that I think you're going to love for yourself and like I said, for anybody else. So without further ado, let's just jump into my current luxury spa-like skincare well, nighttime skincare routine. So like I said, this video is being sponsored by skinstore.com. They are absolutely amazing. They have the largest range of luxury skincare products and devices on the market that I've seen thus far. So if you're looking for a little bit of a splurge and you kind of want to reward yourself, that's probably where I would recommend to go first. So I'm going to run you guys through all of the products that I have in front of me. This is essentially what I would consider more of like a luxury nighttime routine. I don't do this every single night, mind you. I try to get this in at least like once or twice a week and really take my time with my skincare to really splurge and take care of myself. So I'll share with you everything that I have. And then, yeah, I'll share with you a little special discount code that skinstore.com has also shared with me to give to you guys. It's 25% off their site. There are some exclusions that apply to it as always, but all the details will be down below in the description box and along with the code there. So make sure you check that out so you can take advantage of it. I know everybody's shopping for our holidays, so the best time to use all of your discount codes. So first up, removing makeup. Usually on a regular day, I actually don't wear that much makeup. Um, I mostly just wear makeup when I'm shooting content, filming stuff for brands. Otherwise, if I'm just at home, honestly, I just like wear my skincare. So when it comes to a nighttime routine, obviously I took into account that on the extreme day, I'm removing makeup. So let's just throw that in that little extra step right there. And I have an obsession with oil-based cleansers. And my favorite right now is this Lise Watier one. This is their deep cleansing oil. This works so well. I just do three pumps on my hand, rub it onto my face. It melts off literally everything, like all of your waterproof makeup, because I use waterproof mascara and eyeliner since my eyes get really oily and things always tend to smudge. So I need to use an oil-based one. And this one from Lise Watche does such an amazing job taking everything off without stripping my face and making it feel like that really weird, dry, and just like itchy sensation that sometimes you can get from cleansers or makeup removers. Don't like that. Mm. So this one is my current go-to. And then obviously after that, I personally like to double cleanse. I almost always double cleanse when I wear makeup. And a current favorite of mine is from Clay de Peau Beauty. I actually just recently started using this. They sent this over into a PR package and I was like, okay, I've never used their products before. And this had a clarifying cleansing foam and it's such a like a little tiny tube. I was like, okay, what can this actually do? Ooh, okay. Let me talk about how clean this makes you feel. It gives you that like squeaky clean feeling, but at the same time, you don't feel like your skin is raw. Like the same feeling you get from like a bar soap without stripping your skin like a bar soap. You actually don't even really need a lot. It's like a small little pea sized amount and it covers your entire face with foam. It is so great. Ever since I started using it, I can't go back. And I'm kind of sad that these tubes are so small. I wish they were a little bit larger, but they work great for me when I travel. If I had to go back home to Ottawa to visit, or if we're going to go on a little trip somewhere, mind you, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. So I probably should have saved this tube for a trip in the future, but, but I just like the formulation of this cleansing foam so much that I can't stop myself from using it. So unfortunately I probably will end up using it all up before we get to go anywhere. And then right after that, because I do have acneic skin, I try to minimize the flare-ups as much as possible, as frequently as possible. And recently I've been using Neo stratus oily skin solution in the clarify line i actually take the lid off and i use one of these reusable cotton pads and i dab on like three little circles where i flip it upside down three times on this and i swipe it over my face as if it is a toner and i find that that really helps to kind of like strip my face from any extra or excess oil that i may have throughout the day and it leaves it feeling like a very fresh canvas and 
ready for all the other skincare that I'm gonna apply on afterwards. So sometimes it does leave me feeling a little bit dry and I like to like freshen up my face yet not apply product on that would be too heavy for all the other products to soak in. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I use Fresh's Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water literally just like an antioxidant water. I spray it all over my face. It's a super fine mist. I love this atomizer. If you guys watch my hashtag empty stories on Instagram where I review products, atomizers that have like a fine distribution of mists are my favorite. I hate the ones that just leave like splotches of product on your face and this one doesn't do it. And I know that although this bottle or aerosol container looks really, really small, it packs a punch. This has lasted me for the past like three months and I don't feel like it's getting low anytime soon. I probably have at least two to maybe another three months left on this stuff so i'm pretty happy with this size great for travel super portable and the atomizer is phenomenal at giving you like that even spray all over your face so huge fan of this one and highly recommend if you are looking for a good face mist so after that i actually like to go in and start with my very first step this has prepped my skin already as is and what i like to do is Actually, let me just introduce to you this kit from skinstore.com that I recently got that I want to share with you guys. So this is, I've taken it apart so I can kind of show you what it looks like first. It comes in this box, nice little pretty pink box like this, and it actually has a slip on the outside, which looks like this. I just figured it'd be easier for me to show you these two separately right now so you can kind of see what it looks like when you take this off. And this is the Ultimate Firming Collection from MZ Skin. And this is actually designed and developed by a doctor, so there is science backing this. And and in this box, there is the vitamin infused facial treatment mask, a deep puff and defined contouring eye rescue, hydrate and nourish age defense retinol day moisturizer SPF, and the tone and lift germanium contouring facial roller. So I'm gonna show you everything and kind of walk you through my favorite things from this little kit here. Um, if you want a 25% off on this specific kit, make sure you use my discount code down below in the description box to take advantage of that. Otherwise you can use that code for other products on the website as well too. Um, just check to make sure the exclusions don't include any products that you want to use. <laughs> Opening this box, there are four products inside. First up was the SPF moisturizer for daytime with, it's like a retinal day moisturizer, which always throws me for a loop whenever there's daytime retinal products because I am aware that you're not supposed to use retinol during the day. Actually right now, I'm not really supposed to be using retinol during pregnancy because vitamin A is kind of harmful to the baby. However, I did learn that you can use retinols while you're breastfeeding afterwards and I do plan on breastfeeding so I'll probably be taking advantage of that and using this all up as soon as baby comes because you know, I want to spoil and splurge myself a little bit and retinols are actually some of my favorite skincare ingredients for me to use on my skin because it really helps I find to keep my skin like balanced I don't get a lot of redness from it and it really keeps a lot of my acne and flare-ups at bay. So this one I currently haven't used yet but it smells amazing and I've kind of left it to the side so that after I give birth and I breastfeed I can definitely start using my retinols all over again. Can you tell that I can't wait to use retinols? Next up is the Depuff and Define Contouring um, Eye Rescue. Sorry, I forgot what this was called. I always forget what my products are called. I just use them. So this is kind of like an eye cream that you just apply and it helps to depuff and define a lot of the skin area around your eyes. Like I said, I only use these products and this is my routine like maybe twice a week max because as you can see, this is quite small and I don't want to go through it too quickly because it's pricey, but I love it to death. And I just like dab it lightly down at the bottom of my eyes with my ring finger and and tip, make sure you go all the way around on the inside of your eyes too because the insides here will sag over time. If you've seen some people as they age, their top eyes, the skin here kind of like sags in a little bit. You don't want that. You want that like a nice awake look. So make sure you apply your eye products all the way around the eye contour whenever you can. So I've been using this. It's very gentle on my eyes. I, it's not like a huge difference. I wouldn't expect huge differences from skincare unless you're getting like cosmetic surgery or anything, but it does definitely help to keep the area hydrated and smooth so that on a day-to-day -day basis, you definitely look a lot more youthful. You wouldn't get sagging skin and wrinkles around the area as prominent as if you were not using this product. So personally, I like it and I try to use it sparingly so it can last me a little bit longer, but it works, you know. C'est la vie. If I run out of it, then so be it. I'll just have to order more. <laughs> and okay, so next product is actually the face mask. So this is a vitamin infused facial treatment mask. It actually comes as a set of five. I only have two left because I've used three of them already. They're phenomenal. I love sheet masking at least once a week, but with my luxury skincare routine, I've actually been doing it twice a week and it's just keeping my skin like super hydrated as we move over into winter. I've essentially shifted a lot of my skincare to be a little bit like heavier and thicker to accommodate for A, heat being turned on in the house, B, just overall dryness in the air, and 
and then just like see the harsh weather that we're gonna be facing soon such as like snow and wind and sleet and rain in your face that's not fun and nobody wants that so i've been adjusting and adding more hydrating and moisturizing skincare products into my skincare routine which now means using sheet masks twice a week and i'm pretty proud of myself because before i used to be like once a month at most it would take me forever to go through all my sheet masks but right now i'm very splurging and taking care of my skin because who knows if i'm gonna have time for this in the future i will make time though but in the time being i do have time so i'm gonna do it now how many times did i say time take a shot every time i said that what oh my god i just keep saying it i can't stop guys but yes this is a very hydrating sheet mask and i'll usually the instructions are to like leave it on for like 10 50 minutes but i'm the type of person that likes to leave it on for like an hour and fall asleep when I wake up, it's still kind of moist and I always feel bad taking off sheet masks when there's still a lot of hydration and product on it. It feels like I'm just wasting it. So I leave it on for about an hour. I feel like it doesn't really push it that bad and the more vitamins you get in your skin, the better. So yeah, huge fan of these ones. So what I want to actually come here to say is that at this part of my skincare routine, after I've applied the facial mist, I then actually go on, throw on a sheet mask. If I'm busy doing stuff like work or housework, then I'll go and do that for about like an hour or so. And then I will come back and this is where it comes to the next part. I actually take this, um, the Germanian contouring face roller and over the mask, I kind of like rub it in from side to side to really help absorb and maximize impact of the skincare products that are in this mask into my face. And it's a nice little massage too. You can like kind of like relax, lie down in bed and just like really massage your skin and let all the products soak in. It's really, really nice. And then, you know, on days when I'm not using the mask, I still sometimes use this too, just to kind of like massage my skin. I think psychologically, I just tell myself the more I massage it, the more toned and tight and snatched it's gonna look. I don't know if that's been scientifically proven, but I still do it anyways. And I feel like it gives me some benefits. So I figured, why not? <laughs> but yeah, I use this contouring a face roller along with this mask afterwards and then it actually comes in like this really cute carrying pouch which i like it's like this soft little velvet one so if you are traveling and you kind of want to keep it separate from your other products because you want to sanitize this you just pop this in boop, into a toiletry kit and there you go you have a portable face roll with you so you cannot complain or say that you don't have anything to roll and take care of your skin with. Okay, and then after that, you guys know, one of my favorites is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. So I just put about five drops of this into my hand, warm it up, and then pat it onto my skin to give it lots of extra hydration. As you can see here, the key to everything is hydration. That's like my favorite thing when it comes to winter time. And then to lock all of that in actually, well, sorry, before that, I apply my eye cream like I showed you guys before. This is the Natural Bisay one. This is the Diamond Extreme Eye Eye Cream that is also available on skinscore.com. So I'll include links to that. Actually, I'll include links to like everything down below so you can find it all there in case you are interested. But I apply this to my eyes as like an extra level if you really want to. You don't have to. We already did apply an eye cream once, but I always figured especially at nighttime, an extra shot of hydration. Never really hurts that much. And then to soak all of that in and to really lock it in place, hyaluronic acid. You cannot miss out on that. Daytime or nighttime, you have to use it. But I did want to mention, it is very, very good at keeping your skin hydrated and moisturized because what it does is it binds to molecules and it pulls them in through your skin's pores and it sits there and it helps keeps your skin hydrated. But there's also a very important key to maintaining it so that it doesn't evaporate off of your skin because it does evaporate afterwards. So I use the L'Oreal Paris Revitalift 1.5% Pure Hyaluronic Acid. I've gone through multiple bottles of these. It's it's kind of hard for me to keep track of how many bottles I have gone through, but I'll just say I've used a lot. And this is one of my favorite hyaluronic acids. It's very affordable cost-wise in the market, so you won't have any issues getting a hold of this one, and it works really, really well. After that, this is the important key to locking everything in. You need to have an extra layer put on top of your hyaluronic acid that it will kind of like act as a shield to keep it underneath. Otherwise, if you just finish with it, it will take any products that it's bound with and evaporate off of your skin. And actually that will cause further dehydration. So if you're not using it effectively, it will actually dehydrate your skin more than hydrate it. So going in with moisturizer, I've been recently using the Caudalie Venosource SOS Intense Moisturizing Cream. I actually really like to keep this cream for winter time. I use this last winter and the winter previously, I believe. It's a very thick cream. It takes a little bit of time for you to massage it and work it into your skin, which is why it's in the winter. In the summertime, it's a little bit too heavy, but come winter, it's like nice and thick and it keeps your skin like super hydrated, especially at nighttime. If you're massaging it in before you go to bed, your skin feels so supple as you lie down and it's my favorite. So I'd recommend this for the winter time, at least for myself, especially if you have oily skin, it might be a little bit too heavy and it could potentially clog your pores. But for myself, I find that it works really, really well and and it keeps my skin super supple. I wake up the next morning with like baby butt soft skin and I'm like, nobody can rival this except for an actual baby because my skin is so soft. It's as soft as a pillow. 
That made no sense. I don't know what the hell I just said, guys. Sorry. And then to lock it in even more, I use oil. So skin oils are my jam. These are ones that don't need to be washed off. They are dry oils, so it's not going to make you feel like you're greasy, slick everywhere. A favorite one of mine is actually Guerlain's Abbe Royale. Um, this is a youth watery oil. You kind of have to shake it up to activate it because there are these little beads that are inside of it. And I use about five drops on my hand, warm it up like I do with my other serums, and pat it on all over the place. You're going to find that when you apply this, it is a little bit oily at first, but once it soaks into your skin, it gets a little bit more tacky, and it doesn't feel as like slimy in your face. And it really helps to lock everything that you have in onto your skin underneath so that it cannot escape while you're sleeping at night and that's kind of what you want so that you can reap all like the fullest benefits from your skincare routine and last but not least you guys now I would not forget this is moisturizer for your lips or like lip balm a current favorite of mine because I've been testing a couple here and there you guys know that I really really like Bite Beauty's Agave lip balm but a new one of mine is Glow Recipes Lip Pop and this is from the like, Watermelon Glow series I think it's this like little lip balm that smells freaking amazing like their watermelon scent you just kind of like twist it up and you just apply it all over your skin there's some like little beads inside it's kind of like a micro exfoliant I don't really mind though something that I did want to mention for you guys to keep in mind is that there is a slight tint to this it makes your lips like very pink like a barbie pink per se sorry I just had to pause and sniff it because I love the smell of artificial watermelon <laughs> It sounds so weird, but it's amazing. Um, but yes, it does tint your skin a little bit pink, kind of like you just finished eating one of those like cream soda popsicles, like the pink ones, like the classic ones we'd eat as a kid. So keep that in mind. If you don't like pink, then maybe don't go for this. But if you do or you don't really care, then this is a phenomenal lip balm to have. Super easy to use. It's very, very hydrating. I find that it stays on my lips for about like four to five hours before I do feel like I need to do a reapplication. So a huge fan of this one. My only gripe is that I feel like I'm going through it so quickly. I've only been using it for a couple of weeks and it's already shrunken like this much. So I'm kind of sad. I wish there was more. The la vie, where everything that works well for me ends up usually like being depleted so freaking quickly. It's really annoying. But either way, love this one. Could not recommend it more. It's great. You can throw it into your purse or keep it by your bedside table. I literally take this one with me everywhere I go right now because it's one of my current favorite lip balms. So that is it for my current luxury nighttime fall winter skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what products I'm currently using. I just want to share with you because I know that some of you are also going through pregnancy as well too. And I think all of you mamas deserve a little bit of time for yourself to kind of like spoil yourself. Get a little bit of luck skincare in. This might be the last chance you could be selfish and think about yourself before that tiny little human pops into your world and you are responsible for it. The idea of being responsible for another human has not completely settled into my head yet. It just seems so foreign and like weird to know that I had to take care of something else when I can barely take care of myself. But you know, I, from what I've heard, you just do it naturally. It comes to everyone naturally once you have to get into the groove of things. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and you found some new products to try. As always, everything will be linked down below in the description box along with the 25% off of skinstore.com that you guys can use to take advantage of and to get some amazing deals on phenomenal skincare products. Let me know if you've ordered any products from them before and if you have any favorite ones. I'm always looking to try new ones and to upgrade my skincare and to change it around every couple of months just to keep my skin guessing. You know, it's like a guessing game. If it gets too used to my current skincare routine, then I find that kind of like retaliates and doesn't really like to operate well what I intended to if that makes sense like it just gets used to the skincare and it's like mm, nah let's do something new to test your limits Vic but yes I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and thank you again to skinstore.com for sponsoring today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this one let me know if you want to see more skincare routines and current ones that I've been using for daytime as well I'd be more than happy to share I hope you guys have an amazing day I will see you in the next video Bye.